I'm a surgeon and I just read this New York Times article that just nails it in diagnosing the problem that doctors themselves have with healthcare in this country. It was written by Dr. Eric Reinhardt, who's a physician and anthropologist affiliated with Harvard. I'm just gonna read you some of the article because it's so spot on. The United States is the only high income nation that doesn't provide universal healthcare to its citizens. Instead, it maintains a lucrative system of for-profit medicine. One report estimated that in 2021 alone, about 117,000 physicians left the workforce, while fewer than 40,000 joined it. I've talked about this before, but yeah, we've got a huge physician shortage and it's just getting worse. Doctors were told that if healthcare were made a public service, we would lose our professional autonomy and make less money. This part is so key because he basically acknowledges that for many years, doctors were told that if we go to socialized medicine, universal healthcare, doctors are gonna suffer, doctors will make less money. But we're finally at a point where so many doctors feel that they're complicit in a broken system and they're just choosing to leave medicine altogether. So Dr. Reinhardt says, doctors can no longer be passive witnesses to these harms. We have a responsibility to use our collective power to insist on changes. He offers some solutions like universal health care, paid sick leave, reforms to housing and social welfare systems. And he goes on to suggest that the real next step for doctors is unionization to pool the collective power and disillusionment of physicians to change the system. So I highly recommend you check out the article. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm Dan, the Darwinian doctor. I'm a surgeon, I'm a real estate investor, and please follow for more.